just forget to run around. I've been doing this since I had to work at Mama House. Woo! Tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down. Everybody eating this a party when I come to town. You can bring your mama, daddy, sister, and your cousin out. Everybody wanna kill the king, all your shit wanna take the crown. I can see through it like a stomach with a other sign. When I hit the gas, I be going like a hundred miles. They be getting tired, running out like a hundred. For me, who could be against me? Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Hoosier State and Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. start this drive in the air and this will be caught by his big wide receiver and he's out of bounds able to take this one up to the 35 and that's good for a pickup of 10 yards and that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left
He'll look to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To the air on first down. Here's Willis. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. These two teams met in Nashville earlier in the year with the Titans coming away victorious. So if they can find a way to win here in Indianapolis, they would take the season series 2-0. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Second down, here's Willis. Over the middle, complete. That's Norris. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Throwing on second and eight. Willis. And quick throw here. That's complete. Touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Titans use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. The extra point splits the uprights. And it's now a 7 nothing game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. Offense at the line and set to go. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in. Everyone. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. A big play there on the catch and run. 73 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well, because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. They'll run here with Taylor. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Again, it'll be Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. A touchdown on Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Colts are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And a fair 
Marquette signaled for and taken successfully. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they came into play here off two straight victories. They're back to 500 on the year. But, Charles, is this little mini run coming too late to salvage their season? Well, they definitely dug themselves a hole that leaves them needing to play almost perfect football from here on out. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there's another first down run right there. They'll run with Gibson. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Now they send the tight end in motion left. From the four now, third and goal. Willis going to try to run it. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Malik Willis, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Titans have taken the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14-7. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. come to the line ready to start their next drive and they are back to 500 on the year got the win last weekend and, and it's one that kept their playoff hopes alive and if you do have those hopes 500 is now where you want to be at this point of the year now we know they've battled through some rough patches this season so it now comes down to how they're going to finish not out of it can't afford any more missteps though One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. The Colts hit 500, hit 6-6, six and six. and they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. 
And his first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Michael Pittman, 47 yards. And the Colts are an extra point away from drawing level. And oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. To the air on first down, here's Willis. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rodgers. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception. And, set. and he's got his target. It's caught for a close touchdown. TJ Hawkinson from 19 yards away as they have taken the lead. The extra point splits the uprights and that will make this a six-point game. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Second down throw coming by Willis. And it's a right side here, complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. He finds his man complete. That's Williamson. Complete. 
So he stopped for no gain. And that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in Let's front of them now. and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing again on second down. Willis, he's going to float this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Titans. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Titans are an extra point away from capturing the lead. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. at the line and set to go and the points they have come fast and furious in this quarter you really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now do you because you're either thinking my replacement may get an opportunity <laughs> your head better be on a swivel totally or maybe i just need to get out of the game for a while because i just can't slow these guys down they've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses and typically one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Second and six. Now back to throw. A quick throw, but incomplete. But that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll look to throw here. And he'll find Pittman. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-ups. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the draw is Taylor. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night. A half step slow, and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. On third down, he'll drop to throw. 
He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it, and the Titans are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Play action, Willis. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And that's the first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Here's Willis. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Willis. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he will have a Titans first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second and nine, Willis under a heavy rush, and down he goes. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. He already did his primary job with an interception earlier, but here he gets a chance to be a pass rusher and takes on the challenge of blitzing and makes another big play. That's something to file away and maybe break out later in this one or in a future game. Third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking deep downfield. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter. You're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Second and one. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 34-yard line. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Back 
Back to throw again. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and 10, Taylor now. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Second and goal from inside the five. Again, it's Taylor. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. A loss of two on the play. It's third down and four to go. And now the clock will stop as he's able to get up and spike it here. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And his kick is indeed good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Glenn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Titans offense set to begin the drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. back to him on first down and forget about finding a lane he barely had time to look up Playing it in the backfield. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Now Willis. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. And now here's 
There's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, it's Willis. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. They'll come out throwing here on first down. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. And his kick is good. And it will push the lead up to five. So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points in the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. Titans offense set to begin the drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Back to throw Willis. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. They dial up the corner blitz that time and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Here's Willis, third and long. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. On now 
was the Titans punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Rodgers to return it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And that one, a 55-yard punt, 13 on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. in the tight end and he's taken down inside the 30. Good yardage there for the Colts. 18 and a first down and a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Six, now second and four. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. He handed it off there, but I just don't really know if he would have kept it or tried to do anything else if it would have mattered. Yeah, it's not always a wrong read when a play gets stacked up. Sometimes they're just at the line of scrimmage with just too many bodies to maneuver. And as a result, now they're looking at a fourth down. someone to jump there and if that's the case this will be a first down so jumping from his free safety spot that tells you how aggressive they are on defense doesn't it they get everyone involved he was a little too fast on that play they run once more with taylor and this carry despite the extra effort will be stopped short of the 10 i know the speed is the hallmark of today's nfl game 
but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That To me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. They're going to look to throw. Touchdown, Colts! Michael Pittman with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth-quarter lead. And that is off the left, upright. It's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need. Reyes throws another interception, his third of the game. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that will be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and ten. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Hey, 
Second down, here's Willis. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Norris. Five yards, now it's third and five. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're going to tell you. You can have six, seven yards, do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've got to start attacking vertically a lot more. Willis looking to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Norris. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Again, it's Willis to throw it. Over the middle, it's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. First and ten, Willis. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Colts are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. Man, to put it mildly, but look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, partner. Decent start, but now it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball, getting it away from them because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You've got to have the football back for your offense. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Slot man moves right. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there. 50 yards. And the Colts have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. Kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. There's somebody to return that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? One play has them up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. First and 10, it's Willis. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Play action, here's Willis. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A great effort there. 56 yards. And the Titans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. 
So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Colts are going to recover the football. And that should be enough to get them home. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Now we've got whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. season and that was to win seven games and now they've accomplished that mission and congratulations to them for achieving their goal they have to finish the season strong but you gotta think that going forward for next year they're gonna jump that number up a little 